everyone and welcome back to the rmtv women's podcast i was about to say the episode number but it's not that show it's a completely different one this is the match build-up show and it's the big one this weekend the return of the merseyside derby at anfield hopefully in front of a history breaking a record crowd. <laughs> Breaks um, history. Breaks yeah. history. <laughs> Hopefully in front of a record crowd off the back of a fantastic win last weekend. How much are you looking forward to it, Andy? Uh, very much. I'm, I, I can't wait for this. I'm not sure exactly what the figures are, but I know obviously the other day with Jurgen Klopp coming out and giving a little message saying he would love to have everyone there. I've personally got a, a mate down coming down to his first ever women's game. He's coming over from Manchester. Um, me and him where I've been massive Liverpool supporters for about 10 years. He's bringing his girlfriend as well. They're both really excited. Uh, we're going to head to Hotel Anfield before. I know the supporters club have a few things on. So really excited for the day, just uh, really excited for the occasion. And the pressure's off a little bit because we did not expect to have any points by this point. And I think I mentioned when we talked about the first six games and how difficult they were, obviously five games after Reading was postponed, I talked about the fact that actually we might need to win this derby because it's a good opportunity to get a win. <laughs> Say hello. I've seen, this, I've seen this clip before. Anyway... Uh, <laughs> I think it's 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 a we were talking about the first five games, talking about how difficult they were, and I was worried that we'd actually need to get a point here because it's great for women's football, it's great that it's at the derby, it's great for Liverpool, it's great for people to get down and and hopefully get hooked. But I think we absolutely we absolutely needed to win that game. That pressure's sort of off now. We've got three points in the board that we never dreamed, by the way, of having after Sunday. Yeah. But now there's now I suppose you're going into it, sort of thinking. If we get a point, which would ordinarily have been ordinarily have been a good result against a team that's you know very much established in the WSL in terms of our survival bid, we'd have been buzzing about that. Whereas I'm sort of thinking like this is a really good opportunity to get six points from six, and uh, I was kind of ironically singing at full time on Sunday, "We're gonna win the league," and now you're gonna believe us. But I think if we get six points from six, I might start believing. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, while well, I let Andy catch his breath, I've never heard someone speak so fast before. I know. Um, oh, I'm like, sorry, I've never I heard him so giddy. I know. Well, I'm just excited. Is that all right? No. It's going to be miserable. It's more than all right. Excitement is welcome here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, kind of, Lauren, then, how... Obviously, we went to the one two years. Did you go to the one two years ago, Andy? No, I was in Northern Ireland. Sorry. That's absolutely okay. I don't take it personally. Yeah. Um... <laughs> It just we sounded went... quite accusatory, you know. <laughs> leave me alone. I lived across the water. Just out in you there. Um, <laughs> obviously, when we went back in 2019, the first time in um, the WSL that the women's game had been held at Anfield, and like me and you both look upon that game as such an incredible day. Like it wasn't mm. just a match; it was a day, as like Andy sort of um, notion towards. Are you sort of hoping this has the same effect again? And for those that are coming that are new to women's football or came for the first time last week and have decided to come back again, or those who literally just want to go to Anfield for seven quid, are you hoping it's going to be the the feel of the same occasion again? I think it is, yeah. I think, like you said, there's going to be obviously those returning fans who have been long supporters of the women's team who will look at this occasion as massive but obviously get you you few newbies as well which is always good but I think like just in terms of the day itself I think this time you're, you're in a completely different different position as in you know that season we were very much scrapping yeah. from from the very first match so by the time they made a sad derby came around to have more of a pressure on it in terms of we needed to pick yeah. start picking points up at that stage Whereas now, second game into the season, off the back of a such a, a brilliant win against Chelsea, it kind of has a different feel of it as of like of I don't feel as nervous like in the build up to it compared to how I did last time around. And also you've got to look at the, the teams are two completely different teams um yeah. compared to twenty nineteen. So I feel like I feel like we're more prepared for an occasion like this this time around compared to what we were last year. Yeah. Um, but I think it it's important to note that, you know, Matt Beard in his weekly column has said today, you don't play the occasion, you play the game. Yeah. So although that the, it is a big occasion, it's also important to like actually go out there and play well and actually secure the points or even a point at the end of the day. 
it is and i think me and you in 2019 walked away from that game really really disappointed one because we just lost the Merseyside derby obviously that's never ever gonna feel nice two but because i wasn't there Two, because yeah. Andy Bell wasn't there. Um, he wasn't in our life yet, and it was just, no. it was a whole, it was, it was a whole other part that it didn't need film. By yeah. the way, can I just say, I joked on that Anfield Rap podcast that uh, I've never been to a Liverpool women's defeat in person. I'm pretty sure that won't last past Sunday. Lasted past Sunday? How on earth did that happen, by the way? Wow. I should have been I a joke. I think we're never going to lose. Is that an actual start? Like, you've never seen us? I've never, I've, I went to my first Liverpool women's game was the Palace uh the palace it was a palace we beat at the start of the season 2-1 and the only games we lost after because we lost our first game it wasn't at that and i went to probably less every home game afterwards and a couple of ways obviously i wasn't at the defeat at lose at the end of the season the the lose the lose to lose all right, um, all right, i wasn't right. at the spurs county cup and i was at wembley for the league cup final when did we you, played um, the Arsenal. You at the did you go to arsenal cup game no i was at, i was in wembley Oh my oh, god! I was at Wembley. I, I was gutted to miss that, but if, yeah, I was at Wembley. So, I, so if I mean, if it's lasted past Chelsea at home, it could go on forever. It it's could close. is all I'm I saying. Really, You've I been really spoiled. Yeah. I know. So spoiled. It, I have, but yeah, you know, what was your question? I know. Yeah, sorry, Amy. <laughs> my question was just, do you like? I w- I was mentioning about the fact that when we walked away from that game in 2019. In my opinion, and I think a lot of other opi- opinions as well, we were the better team for 90 minutes and they had a goal that possibly could have had some better goalkeeping to save it. We're not going to go into it too much. Hello, Anchor Royce. Um, but <laughs> only joking. But um, yeah, it's, I'll probably come to you, Lauren, because you, you were at the game. Sorry to um, point you out again, Andy. Um oh, sorry. But- <laughs> How much, do, their wish right now. <laughs> how much do you think and hope probably that we can get these three points and almost will it feel like we've sort of put the cards right, if that makes sense, obviously after losing it last time? Yeah, I think there's definitely an element of like revenge on the card. Yeah. It's like there is that little bit of you want to get one over on them again because I, I, I actually can't remember can't think of the last time we won a Merseyside derby in the women's game. Like off the top oh, of my head. it was it was that last game of the season. Amy Rogers three one. The season before yes. we went down. I think that was it. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now because we interviewed Amy Rogers afterwards. Yeah, also the that. last possible time we could have possibly played them, but never yeah. that, Lauren. But uh, that's twenty nineteen. Yeah. It was that season. Twenty eight derby season. The, yeah. Yeah. 2019, so like that's a long time. So it does definitely be, a, a case of revenge. It, it be was because I remember the kit. I remember the kit because it was the one with the collar, and we won the Champions League. That's the men won the Champions League that summer. Yeah, but we'd already played meant. them. We'd already played them at home at Anfield. So how would we have played them at home at? Prince? No, that was like no, the November May 2019. That was the November afterwards. Uh, right. Yeah, so, so it was still 2019, but it was a, it was the season after. You make a good point. Um, yeah, but cool. um, yeah. So, well, going back to like 2019, that's a long time. And yeah, we were in the championship for two seasons. But it's it is definitely a revenge mission, kind of. And I think, I think there's sort of like a fire in the belly of the squad this season because we've pointed it out uh, of Katie Stengel saying after the game on Sunday that they're not just there to survive. So. Yeah. You've got to pick up as many points as you can early on, and to throw Merseyside derby in what was supposed to be third game of the season, but now second game of the season is huge in terms of you know kind of building that confidence for the remainder of the season. I think we'll, I I honestly do think that we'll win. Awesome. I think the whole momentum behind the squad from Sunday, I think the crowd, I think everything that goes with it for the whole day will just kind of maybe just push us over the edge a little bit more and especially because they lost the opening game of the season yeah. as well there's a little bit more pressure on them to, yeah. to get more points on the board so we'll see but I'm yeah. confident well you've got to be haven't you we'll come to you again Andy and your favourite striker in the Liverpool team Lauren just mentioned Katie Stengel <laughs> um, <laughs> is it just repeat again for, from last weekend is, is that what you're hoping to see from her I think 
she's a player that we all, I think, unconsciously highlighted at the start of the season who would be a strong player. She was essentially brought in last January to help the team if we were to make it into the WSL. I think that was always a pinpoint for Matt Beard to say she is going to be really, really good for us if we do get promoted. Now that's obviously happened and she had an absolute worldie of a game, scoring both goals, that incredible run for the second penalty against Chelsea. How much is she going to play a part in um, in the game on Sunday? I think she has to play a massive one. She has to play a massive one for the next two or three months now or yep. whenever it is that Leanne Kiernan's out because you saw on um, on Sunday there the options were Taylor Hines in a wing position and, and kind of Mel Lawley in the two up front, which are, are two things that I don't particularly want to see very often if we abs- unless we absolutely have to. Certainly don't want it being your, your second choice option and, you know, God knows what would happen if 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 Stan goes to pick up an injury now for the next two or three months. I've, I've oh, yeah. genuinely no idea what we'd really do there, and I, I think it could become quite awkward in the league quite quickly for us. I think you'll, you'll probably see one change. I think it's it's just Van der Sande comes in for for um, Leanne Kiernan and 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 plays on that side, or maybe Lolly on that side, and uh, yeah. and Van der Sande to the right is probably actually a lot more likely. In fact, that that pretty much well, nailed on is what happens. But, it's interesting because when we spoke to Matt about the Schnatt van der Sanden, just quickly, in, when we spoke to Matt Beard post-match against after the match on Sunday, he notioned to us that it would be a couple of weeks. She needed to mm. have a few weeks to get the load back up. But then, obviously, some training pictures have come out this week that she's <laughs> out on what? Just keep going. She's out on the out on the grass, so. It looks like maybe she at least makes a bench, for example, on the weekend. But you make a point that if she does start, she would naturally come in. If, if Shanice van der Sanden's fit, she starts for me. I think, yeah, you're right. I was encouraged to see there or back in the training photos in midweek. And it's a perfect replacement for a Leanne Kiernan type. Obviously, it kind of means that you're you're going with two out-and-out wingers rather than your more central striker of a winger, which is what Kiernan is. She gives you a lot more off the ball, but it's not she's not sort of going to get to the byline and whip across in. And that could end up actually playing into Stengel's hands a little bit more. Don't get me wrong, I think Leanne Kiernan will be a massive miss. I've made no bones about the fact that I think she's our best striker. I still think she's our best striker. I think she's our best all-round striker. But I've never doubted the fact that Katie Stengel can be effective and can be effective in this league. And people point towards the goal-scoring record. And my point always was that kind of Stengel gets a lot of penalties, gets a lot of of goals from set pieces and long throws. And a goal from a set piece or a long throw is worth every bit as much as your typical Leanne Kiernan goal. Don't get me wrong. My point was just around the the kind of overall play. So that 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 that's not an issue for me at all. And I have to say, I did see a, a different side to Katie Stengel on Sunday than what I saw in the championship. Now, that could be me, a, a kind of blind spot for me, and I just didn't happen to read her that much last season. But there seemed to be a lot of an overall play just kind of dawdling around the centre circle. Put it this way, she looks a lot fitter than she did last season. She looks a lot yeah. quicker, and she looks a lot stronger. And I don't think you see that run from her that you see on Sunday last season. That was world-class Full disclosure, yeah. that was world class. It was incredible. Um, every touch of it is absolutely sensational. And then to get up and stick the penalty away was incredible too. So yeah, in, in terms of front three, I think it'll be Van der Sand and Stengel and and Lolly. I think that's what we go for. That said, if Van der Sand doesn't come in, I thought Daniels was bloody effective on Sunday as well. I thought she was really, really good when she came on. And once again, kind of in the mould of that Kiernan versus Stengel debate, you know, Mel Lolly's an an infinitely more talented footballer than Yana Daniels, in my opinion. But it could be one of those where Daniels is just a little bit more effective. She gets goals, she gets assists, she gets the herself about, well. um, and Crossed that can, she puts a cross in. And and those sort of physical attributes, even if they're not as skillful as another player, can, can take you a long way in any in any walk of football. I think it can. And was that slow enough for you? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Anything to add to that, Lauren? What are you thinking about the um, lineup? The only thing I was thinking about there was was anyone else as surprised as I was to see that Katie Stengel was the one taking the penalty? No. You took a couple last season, didn't you? Yeah, but like, I don't know. I just wasn't would expecting you her. I don't know. I was, I was just it? thinking, is it like maybe yeah, Rachel Bo? Laws? Maybe Bo, maybe yeah. Lolly, maybe nah, I it if. if like fairness was on for the second one, like maybe Fanny was a tough one. Like, no, she oh, I, 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 was, I was sure it would be Stengel when she stepped up in the second instance. She earned that penalty. It was the first mm. one, obviously, doesn't isn't really involved with her, but 
she must in training especially if they do penalty practice or whatever she must have yeah, shown that sure. she's capable of slotting it home I just don't remember those details of a season so like I just no. I, even for the men when people staff up the pens I'm like oh, okay yeah well I feel like we've covered all bases <laughs> A lack you're, of... you're going to be shocked when Salah steps up to take the next yeah, penalty. Like, oh my god! <laughs> Why is it not Verge? <laughs> but I feel like we've covered all bases. Not really spoke about Everton, but we don't really need to speak about them, do we? No. Um, as we've sort of alliter- 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 alluded. alluded throughout alluded. the throughout the majority of this podcast, amazing occasion. I do actually believe by the time this goes out, tickets will not be on sale anymore so hopefully Mm -hmm. we will have been alerted to whatever the figure is hopefully it's big hopefully we can hopefully it beats last time exactly hopefully we can pack out the field get the the, get the songs going get the flags up i think it's gonna be an an unreal occasion and it's nice now we've we've got more people to go with as well Lauren. it was just me and you and me dad last time i know we've got a little gang to go now so so it's... Can, I, can I just say, on your flag point there, I know you've seen this, but I have been completely <laughs> indirected by the Liverpool wow. Women's Twitter account. So basically, for people who haven't seen, they put up a thing saying all Thank two by one flags must be checked, otherwise they will not be allowed into the ground. And the photo of the views is me holding up the furthest flag as if, please don't take is that yours, in. Is yours out of... No, I think it's... Out, of, co- out of contact <laughs> and Andy Bell. Like, literally, you know what? there he is. Well, it just added me. They get there you can't I... even stand because in the cop the flag is huge. Um, what sir? I was just I don't understand because what men's games in the cop the flags are huge. I think mm. it's I think uh, apparently what I've heard is they have to be fire hazard checked or some. Uh, they they words like to that stay effect. there, don't they? Like yeah. no one brings them in each game. Like they're always right. there. Yeah, they uh, because I know for the supporters club they need to get them with a fire hazard badge on them or something. So. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, either way, bring in your flag. flag lads, well, I mean, it, it, to be foolish, like they are completely right because if Rachel Furness scores the winner, I am holding up the flag and a flare at the same time, so it could be on to <laughs> oh something, you know. Oh my god, I'd love to see that. Uh, are you taking your flag? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hoping to. I'm going to get the tape measure out and see if I have to send an email tomorrow. <laughs> but yes, absolutely. Um, you see, Andy um, just like trimming around the edges. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jordy goal can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we've not got long left on the old Zoom. Thank you both for joining. Obviously, Lauren, you kind of have to, but thank you for joining. Yeah. Um, not a problem. That was our... Do you know what? It's nice to not like be the one asking the questions. I hate it. You're back Quite on refreshing. it next time. You're on it next Awful, time. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all for watching. That was a lovely little, lovely little, see you mean, no, joking. Lovely little... Um... <laughs> 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 I've actually lovely, laughed so much. Lovely little build-up to... Who was that about again? Who, what player was that about? <laughs> Is it Shanice? Oh, Lardy. Oh, Lardy. Yeah. Lardy. Lardy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you both for joining and thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully we will see you all at the game on Sunday. But yeah, if you like this video, yep. like this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really if you like it. this video, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> like Remember you- to like the video, comment, there subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all on Sunday for some post-match content. Bye. 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 Bye.